Both of us were silent, standing only a metre apart, just staring each other down. What was I going to tell him? Was he even going to want to be friends with a weirdo like me anymore? I, I, I stutter, shamefully staring down at my dolly shoe clad feet. I could feel my eyes welling up. I knew the laughter and the mocking jokes were imminent. Then he was defo going to tell all our friends and families about this. Oh, my life is over. I, I want to just drop dead. What's your name then? He asked softly, breaking the silence between. What did he just say? I look up at him, extremely confused, the tears in my eyes making it hard to focus on his face. Do you like video games? He continues to ask me in a calming manner. D dude. I mumble as I rub the tears from my eyes. You, you know my name. With no reply, he surprisingly throws a comforting arm around my shoulder and gives me a reassuring squeeze. Nath, he whispers into my ear. I can't be calling you your real name when you're dressed like that, can I? How about I call you Sonia? I couldn't believe what he was saying to me. Why isn't he mocking me? Why isn't he laughing and calling me a sissy boy? Matt doesn't wait for me to force out a sentence. He grabs my hand and leads me out. I do my best to follow behind as my dress waves around with the movement. I like your dress, he tells me. You look really cute. You really think that? I reply with disbelief. Sure, he answers with a grin. Now, do you want to play for a bit? Turning on the console, he takes a seat next to me, like we'd done many times in the past. It was like everything was normal, and he seemed unfazed by the fact I was wearing my sister's dress, tights and underwear. Ugh! He cries out as the game over screen appears. We would have had that if you weren't such a girl. I don't answer back. Too embarrassed that he called me a girl. Hey, I do know something girls are really good at he declares, and gently pushes me off the bed and onto my feet. Girls are great at making sandwiches. Slightly annoyed, I give a frustrated, angry look. Don't look at me like that, he innocently pleads. Girls are better at making food. So, I think you should go and make us some sandwiches. I stare him down, daggers in my eyes. He just looks back at me and gestures me off. After a few seconds, I give in. I twirl my dress as I turn to walk out the door. Fine, I'll go and make you one, I huff in defeat. Stomping downstairs, very annoyed at his sexist attitude, I make my way into the kitchen. I might be dressed as a girl, but my culinary skills aren't that great. Stepping back and admiring my handiwork, his sandwich looks like it's been assembled by an animal. Sonia, take your time. Matt calls down to me from the top of the stairs. Why does he want me to take my time? What is he up to? Grabbing the plate, I swiftly leave the kitchen and start sneaking up the stairs. I felt bad for not trusting him, but honestly, I couldn't live with myself if people found out. As I tiptoe and reach the top of the stairs, I can hear Matt ruffling around. He's no longer in my bedroom, as the noise is coming from my sister's room. Setting down the sandwich, I start creeping over to my sister's door. Matt? I call out as I gently push open my sister's bedroom door. What are you doing? The door swings gradually open, and an extremely embarrassed Matt stares back at me, his face bright red. His shorts are crumpled on the floor as I catch him sitting on my sister's bed, pulling up one of her pleated school skirts. Oh. Hey. Matt says as he freezes on the spot. A little shocked, I point at the skirt he's now wearing. Matt, I ask softly. What are you doing? 
Matt finishes pulling up the skirt, smiles at me, and starts wagging his finger. I hope you don't mind, he says. I wanted to know what wearing a skirt is like, and seeing you dressed like that, I thought you'd be okay with it. Matt starts moving around and twirling, my sister's skirt moving around freely as he does. I couldn't help but let out a little laugh as I watch him. What? Matt asks as he seems annoyed at me laughing. I didn't laugh at finding you in that dress. No, no, it's not that, I reply. You just look so funny walking around like that. Are you trying to say I'm fat? He jokes. No, I'm just trying to say you look stupid wearing a school skirt with the rest of your normal clothes. They don't match. Really? He asks. Do you think I should maybe take your sister's skirt off? Nah, I answer back as I move over to my sister's cupboards. We just need to get you some clothes to go with that skirt. Oh, he mumbles. You want me to put more of her clothes on? Pulling out one of my sister's flowery summer dresses, I hold it up to him. Do you want to? I ask as I take the red flowing long dress off the hanger and hold it up to him. Using his fingers, Matt feels the material of the dress and pulls a face. I'm not sure about this, he says apprehensively. I mean, I like how airy it is down there in this skirt, but to wear nothing but one of your sister's dresses? It's only a dress, I reply as I push it into his hands. Plus, you won't be wearing just the dress. You can try on a bra too. I'm not sure about this, he says as he sits down on the edge of the bed. Your family aren't coming back any time soon, are they? I don't think so, I reply rubbing my arm. I don't want them to catch me looking like this either. So if you're going to, best to try it on now. Looking at me straight in the eye, I can see how nervous and uncomfortable he is. Reaching into her drawers and pulling out a lacy pink bra and throw it at him. He awkwardly catches it. I, unfortunately, catch a glimpse straight up his skirt. Dude, I yell and avert my gaze. Shut your legs when you're wearing a skirt. Man, you looked up there on purpose. Matt moans. I don't reply, I just roll my eyes at his suggestion. Okay, okay, I will try this stuff on, but can you maybe give me some privacy as I change? He says, breaking the tension. You gonna put it on? I ask, actually excited that he'd decided to. Well, I will, if you leave the room. He answers as he signals me to leave. Okay, okay, I laugh. I'm leaving. If you need help with the bra, let me know. Get out of here, Sonia, he moans once more. I stand outside the room for about ten minutes. The sandwich I made looks lonely, and I have to fight the urge not to eat it. I start reaching for the plate, and as I do, the door creaks open. Uh, Matt says through the crack in the door. I put on the bloody dress. Let me see, I answer with excitement. Matt slowly opens the door. His face is just as red like a tomato. He'd put both the bra and the dress on. I couldn't believe he was doing it. I wasn't sure if he was enjoying it or was just humouring me. Still, it was super kind of him not to just judge me, but to try it for himself. I feel a little, um, dirty. Matt says as he awkwardly pulls down the dress so it covers more of his hairy legs. Dirty? I reply as I look him up and down. He's a little taller than me, so the dress doesn't fit him as well, but he still looked okay. Yeah, I'm wearing your sister's underwear. It feels all sorts of wrong. You're only wearing a bra, I reply with a smirk. It's not like you've put her panties on too. He looks at me and pulls a quizzical expression. Sonia, he asks as he steps a little closer to me. Are you... are you wearing your sister's panties? He lunges at me and tries to grab hold of the bottom rim of my dress. I try to move away, but I'm not quick enough. Matt flicks up my dress like a naughty boy would do to a girl, and he catches a glimpse of the panties I'm wearing. Dude! I half as I flap my dress back down to cover myself. Not cool! I could see Matt was holding back the laughter. I guess he didn't want to upset me. 
I decided to take control of the situation rather than leaving this hanging in the air. Yeah, I'm wearing her panties, I mutter annoyed. Please don't say anything. I just like looking and feeling girly. You do? He asks as he pushes past me and grabs the sandwich I made. That kind of gives me an idea. He continues saying as chunks of food fly from his mouth. 